five things you're going to need, I believe, to achieve your goal. Or maybe, maybe, maybe you don't need them all, but these five things all combined together, I believe, will guarantee it. First and foremost, you need selling skills. You need to be successful at talking selling. Here's something recently I did, Mark. It's good to see you guys and you and Cynthia again. Here's something I recently did. I, uh, oh, Marianne, I wrote you a note. <laughs> Don't tell Linda. <clears throat> a couple of, some of you in the room have participated, but I, I, I talked to a great number of top producers. I'm looking for what is that common denominator? We trainers, we're always looking, what's the common denominator? You know what the common denominator is? And this got me more excited than anything has in years. It's you know what to say. The common denominator, the top producers, they know what to say and how to say it. Give them any type of situation and they will, I don't know how to say it, BS their way through it. They will talk their way into it. They'll talk their way out of it. They will, the gift, the gab, call it what you want. I believe it's learnable. I believe it's teachable. I believe it's transferable. Not just what you say, but how you say it. Number two, mentor groups. Where's the Massachusetts gang? Would you guys stand up a second? I have to answer this more formally for everyone. As a matter of fact, it's not that you've never done this. Come on up here with me, okay, all of you guys. Where's Nelson? Oh, Nelson's going to wear a hat? Doesn't that embarrass him? Cuts down the shine. Cuts down the shine. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to beat this up, but how, how, long, how long did we first start? How long ago was it we first started talking about mentor groups that you guys started going out and finding each other? Ten years. Ten years? Ten years. Okay. How long have some of you been together? Twelve years ago? How long have you been together? How long have you been with the group, Nelson? Twelve years. Twelve years. How long have you been together? Twelve. How long have you been? Twelve. Twelve years. Yeah? Any of you newer than twelve years in this? Ten. Ten? Okay. Are you, so, so you're all the same, so you're all the same company? No. You're not? Well, what do you do? Do you try to take each other's business? What? We refer each other business. We refer each other business. So in, in a market area, you guys come together to do what? What is your goal? To get better. Get better. To get other people's You know what? You know, I wrote, I wrote a book, Mentoring. McGraw-Hill printed it. So I'm a, big, I'm a big fanatic on mentoring. I believe in mentoring. And mentoring, unlike coaching, it's more, it's centered around giving. It's centered around, there's, you know, I'm not charging you. We just, just come together and help each other. But now, how do you guys do? I mean, do you overall do pretty good, uh, basically? Uh, any of you ever award winners at anything? Or, really? Huh? Occasional. Occasional. Huh? Once in a while. How would you describe the production level of this group without getting too personal? Because I didn't get anybody permission. I don't think anything's le anyone's less than 5 million up to 22 million. I'm going to say that's pretty good. Yeah. So thank you so much. Thank you. What do you call the group? No. Mass Mentors. The Mass Mentors. The Lobster Heads. I want you not just to get the selling skills, but I want you to put together your what? Help me out. Mentor groups. Very important. It's going to be a big part of our future together. Number three thing you need, if you want to really guarantee it, is you need attitude. Attitude is everything. It's your attitude that's going to determine your altitude. Give me somebody with attitude. You keep the people with aptitude. Yeah, attitude. That's a great word. How should you be thinking? Bottom line, if anyone can... I can. Well, and that's part of it. Next, number four, you need to build your referral relationships. I'm telling you, gang, 
for all the reasons in the world. I didn't say build your prospect relationships. I didn't say build your farming relationships. I said build your referral relations. How many people can you put together that can provide you a half a dozen referrals over the next year? And if you had 100 of them, 20 of them, 50 of them, 200 over the years, where are you going with that thing? It's no, honest, it's no longer a day of just picking up the phone and making it happen. And it, Oh, I don't want to say that. It still is, and I believe it will be for a couple years. But I do believe there's going to be a point in time where it's going to be those people I recommend those people to do business with you, and that's where all your business is going to come from. Don't not do that. And then last but not least, it's the old time control. And it's still a, a problem. You know, one of the panels, one of the panels we're going to put together for you, we've got a couple panels, Mike probably told you, but I think this is important. First of all, you're going to talk to some people that have built teams. I believe this concept of teams is here to stay. You're going to talk to people that have done it. Whether it's one person helping you with mail-outs, or it's a group of telemarketers or buyer agents, one person doesn't make any difference. There is an art to building a team. And it takes a lot of skill and finesse keeping a team together. So one of the groups you're going to be hearing from and learning from are people that have made every mistake under the sun building teams for themselves. How many think they could learn something from that? So when I tell you this, it's not because I want to sell you on coaching, but I want you to learn what coaches teach other people. So you're going to have a panel of people that I have been coaching and coached over a period of time, and what I taught them and what they learned and what they figured out and the difference it made to them. Why? Please listen. Because if mentor groups are important, or you're going to build teams, what if you could also be a great coach? What if you could be a great coach? I, I think a couple of you, one of your big things was, where's Claude? It made a big difference being coached. Because you're treating those people the way I treated you, you meanie. <laughs> 